understanding of America's GDP, a perspective on economic structure and global comparisons. Having traveled to 47 U.S. states, I've seen more of America than most Americans. Yet, one question has lingered in my mind. How does America's GDP 23 trillion in 2021? Nearly six times China's sperm GDP of 23 trillion in 2021. Nearly six times China's. A sperm GDP of 12,500, translating into everyday life? On paper, the numbers suggest immense wealth. But first-hand observations often spark deeper questions. During a pre-pandemic trip to New York, my elemental-aged son, raised in China's bustling cities, asked three simple yet revealing questions. One, why do people sleep on the streets here? Two, why don't the subways use air conditioning to save money? Three, why are the buses so loud and smelly? These questions, innocent yet profound, reflect a disconnect between GDP statistics and lived experiences. Let's explore where America's wealth goes through the lens of housing, food, transportation, and services. Firstly, housing, the American dream versus reality. From the air, U.S. suburbs dazzle with endless single-family homes, lush lawns, and pools, a stark contrast to China's dense high-rises. The median U.S. home price in 2021 was $280,000 technologies to million yuan, comparable to Chinese urban apartments. But there's a catch. American homes are mostly wood-framed, prefabricated structures, cheaper to build than China's steel and concrete towers. Yet maintaining these homes, lawn care, repairs, utilities, adds hidden costs. Many Americans DIY to save money, while China's compact living fosters community and convenience. Secondly, housing. Here is spacious but labor-intensive. There, it's cozy but efficient. Dot, it's not a gap. It's a difference in priorities. Thirdly, food. Variety versus convenience. At Minnesota's Mall of America, I found familiar brands but missed China's culinary diversity. American malls lean on fast food chains, while Chinese hubs offer specialized eateries, hot pots, seafood, regional cuisines, catering to adventurous palates. America's dining scene prioritizes affordability and speed, whereas China thrives on innovation and choice. Last night's snacks, in China, even small cities buzz with night markets dot in the U.S., post 9 p.m. Options shrink to drive throughs America's food culture is practical. China's is experiential. Fourthly, transportation, cars versus. Infrastructure Emic loves cars to 1.5 million sold in 2021, but ownership often relies on loans. Meanwhile, China dominates electric vehicles and luxury markets BMW, Mercedes, Audi sell 40% plus of global units there. Yet U.S. infrastructure tells another story. Aging bridges, uneven roads, and subpar public transit. Germany's century-old autobahns outclass U.S. highways, debunking the bills earlier. So, worse excuse. New York's subway, compared to Tokyo's punctual system or even New Delhi's cleaner stations, it feels outdated. America's transportation spending seems misaligned with its GDP stature. The fifth service is the GDP Angana hurts the key. 80% of you. S GDP comes from services, accounting, law, healthcare, finance, not manufacturing or infrastructure. For example, tax complexity. U.S. tax codes are labor in theme. Sustaining 650,000 accountants, 24x more per capita than China. Simplifying taxes? It'd disrupt a $51 billion industry. Healthcare costs. U.S. healthcare consumes 17% of GDP, the highest among developed nations, yet delivers lower life expectancy than China. Profit driven systems inflate prices. Legal industry. America has 2.7x more lawyers than China, generating $270 billion annually. Litigation culture fuels costs. Virtual rent. The U.S. counts imputed rents homeowners paying themselves in GDP, a quirk that inflates numbers without tangible output.
Meanwhile, China's GDP leans on manufacturing doubling America's output and infrastructure. Its top 50 ports handle 29 of the world's busiest hubs. The U.S. claims just four. Global compassion and Joshinshin. Economic maturity often shifts nations towards services, a path the U.S. pioneered. But this reliance faces challenges in a competitive world. During the U.S.-China trade war, America's service-heavy economy struggled to counter China's manufacturing muscle. As one U.S. Air Force official noted, China gains one of capability for every one of capability for every 20 we spend. The U.S. once outmaneuvered the USSR with industrial might. Today, its economy excels in innovation and finance but risks over-reliance on sectors less critical in geopolitical contests. Hollywood, NBA, and Silicon Valley shape culture, but factories, ports, and supply chains shape power, a crossroads. Not a decline, this isn't about decline. It's about evolution. The U.S. remains a global leader, but its economic structure reflects choices. Services create prosperity, but leave gaps in resilience. China's rise isn't about replacing America. It's a reminder that economies must balance virtual and tangible growth dot as nations develop. Their GDP structures shift. The U.S. pioneered service dominance. China now grapples with similar trends. The question isn't who's number one, but how do we adapt? America's challenge lies in reinvigorating industries that blend innovation with practicality. Ensuring leadership isn't just measured in dollars, but in sustainable progress dot in the end. GDP is a lens, not the full picture. Whether in spacious suburbs or bustling cities, economic choices shape lives. Understanding those choices, not just the numbers, helps bridge the gap between perception and reality. Hope you can follow me, give me likes and leave comments. If you have any more information about AI large models, feel free to communicate. Thank you.